Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to download ebooks from the Wasatch County Library. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this, but before you do, you need to make sure that you have your library card handy, or at least that you know the number on the back of the library card. In order to check out books today, you're going to need that number. So get that ready. You're going to need to come to the Heber Valley Main webpage, because we're going to go to Mr. Joe's website. To do that, you're going to click on Teacher Web Pages on the tabs. You'll scroll down to find my name. There I am, Joe Hansen. Now the link to the Wasatch County Library is on the left here where it says student websites. We're going to click there and we can find the link. Under my favorites, right at the very top is the digital library. We always look for that pioneer right there. Digital library, we're going to click on that. Now it's going to take you to this page and Notice it gives you this page saying that it can't be displayed right now. That just means that the link didn't work properly, but we're okay. We can still find our way. I'm going to show you how you can search the, this web page to find books on your level and find books that you're interested in. First of all, if I hover over this uh, tab, I can find books by subject. Maybe I'm interested in fiction books, or maybe I'm looking for a nonfiction book. Um, there's all kinds from classic literature down to fantasy and others. Um, I can choose one of those and, and find books in that subject. I can also search by collections. Maybe I want popular books now or ebooks, new ebooks. Maybe I'm looking for a favorite character or a fantastical fairy tale. Lastly, you can search by level. This is your reading level. Um, this is really important for you if you're looking for a book that's going to challenge you or that's going to be a, a good fit book for you or just write books. So we're going to search today by reading level. And that brings up a bunch of books on the reading level, third grade reading level. Now let's say that your reading level is a little different than mine. Over here on the side, if you scroll down a little bit, you can find this tab that says reading levels. If you can close it, minimize it or maximize it, and then choose the grade level that you would want to be reading. Okay, most of us in third grade, we're going to be on third grade level, but some of you will be in fourth grade level and some will be in second grade level. It doesn't matter, whichever is your level and you feel uh, comfortable with and your, your teachers help you decide. So we're going to look at the third grade level today, and I've already got that set up to the third grade level. But before we check out any books, there's something very important that we need to make sure that we've done. These books are all done in different, different formats. We need to choose the right book so that we can actually read it, because our computers can only open certain books. So in order to do that, you're going to look at this sec side bar that says Format. Now if you have a Kindle at home, you might download a Kindle book, um, or, or there's other devices that you, you might have at home that you could use to download some different books, but the only format that's going to work for us here in class is this second one that says Overdrive Read. That one is going to work on our school computer, so we're going to download from there. But right there here, this number that says next to it, that says that there are 1,300, 1,310 books, so there's plenty of books in store for us. So we're going to click on that and that's going to bring up only books that we can read on our computer. Now let me show you a couple of things about these books. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and now as I scroll down you're going to notice that I'm seeing a lot of these little icons on the corner of these books that look like little books. That icon means that this is an ebook. Now on a previous page you might have noticed there were some icons that looked like little headphones those are audiobooks, books that are read to you. So we're interested in ebooks that we can read. Now there's a difference uh, here with the one on my left here with the gray book and the, and the one on the right with the black book. A black book means that this is available now for me to borrow. A gray book means that someone else has got this book right now and I need to wait my turn. I can place a hold and that will hold the book for me for the to be the next person in line. Um, if I hover over this book that I can borrow if I'm interested in reading a little bit of this book before I check it out, I can click on the sample and that will open a sample of the book. But I want to borrow this one for now and show you that how to do that. So I'm going to click on that borrow. Now this is where you're going to need to have your library card open out. So get that out ready. And when I click borrow, it's going to ask me to log into my account. First, it's asking me to find what library I'm trying to get this from. I'm trying to get this from the Wasatch County Library. So I need to find the Wasatch County Library. W is at the end of the alphabet, so I'm going to scroll all the way down and find W. 
find the Wasatch County Library. And it's asking me to sign in using my uh, my uh, my library card number. When I click this link, it will take you to a link where you need to type in that number on the back of your library card. Now I've got mine saved into the computer, so when I click this link, it's going to skip that step. But for you, you'll need to have your library card number to to access this part. So when I click on that, it will log me in, and now I'm logged in. And it has downloaded that book. I downloaded a couple of other books earlier, but as you can see, here's the book I just downloaded. If I'm interested in reading that book, all I have to do is click on this Read in Browser. What that's going to do is open up a new web page up top here and with the book so that I can read it. Now, let's say that I accidentally clicked borrow and I didn't mean to borrow that and I don't want to borrow that book. I want to return it. Before I click read or download and it needs to be before I do that I need to return the title what that's going to do is it's going to send the book back so that someone else can read it if once I've clicked read it won't let me return the book and it will automatically return it right here this book will expire in seven days so in one week there this book will automatically be taken away and it will be returned to the to the uh, to the library I can check it out again or I can check out a new book all right, we're going to show you how to open this book and get started reading. So if we click on read in your browser, again, it opens up a new tab and it's going to load. Once it's open, all I've got to do is read. I can use the arrow buttons to go back and forth or I can click on the page. If I click on the right side, it's going to move forward. If I click on the left side, it's going to go backward. I can go forward and backward and read my, my book. This looks like a, a fun one. A little bit lower than my reading level, so maybe I want to choose a higher book next time. All right. Well, that's everything there is. Oh, if I want to get back to my book, my library uh, account, all I need to do is find the Pioneer Library site right here on the top. It's still open there, so I can come back to it. All right. Happy reading, guys.